I finally got around to watching this movie. I had uh, lowish expectations going into it, to be honest, but damn, did it deliver. Unrated. The fourth installment in the Die Hard franchise, and the first to feature Hairless Willis. <laughs> He's so bald, like a bowling ball. The plot. The effects of the internet are consuming our lives. Everything from cyberbullying to cyberterrorism, which is what is featured in this movie. When an intimidating but not as quotable or charismatic as previous villains in the franchise, Batty, takes over every available resource that has been integrated into computers, he soon has the FBI running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Gobble gobble, motherfucker. But to John McLean, played by Bruce Willis, this guy, he ain't a hacker. He's just a hack who needs attention. And I'm sure McLean would be more than happy to give him some. Bullets fly, epic action ensues, and we have yet another solid Die Hard movie on our hands. First of all, I'll say this. Bruce Willis has not lost it at this point. He's still funny, harsh, and badass, even if a bit rusty. But with a plot mostly involving gizmos and gadgets and such, where would McLean fit in? We already saw in the previous movies see how behind the times he was. Well then who better to come along for the ride than Justin Long? Get it? Along. Justin Long. I'll stop. He's the whiny and slightly dorky hacker that is on this mission and surprisingly, I liked his character. A lot. When he knows shit is getting bad, he can see it in his expressions. He reacts to everything in a concerned fashion and he's overwhelmed. He's probably all like, can't we all just get along like me, Justin Long? Thankfully, he comes into his own. He also makes a good sidekick because John McClane and Justin Long have two totally different personalities. That way, if they need each other for help on things they can't handle or know nothing about, they can support each other. Like two lovers. Lucy McLean, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, is a great character as well. I felt that when she got shoehorned in near the end so there'd be someone in need for John McLean to save, that she wouldn't be anything like John. Damn, was I wrong. She's a spitfire with a sailor's mouth to boot. That brings me to the MPAA rating. This is the one and only Die Hard film thus far to be officially rated PG-13. I watched the unrated cut, like everyone should, and I'm glad I did. The gore, the action. It wasn't the bloodshed that made the movie for me. Even with the blood squibs, I still found myself happier with the profanity intact. As for the action, damn! I know I've been saying that a lot in this review. The stunts and CGI are all blended nicely, and there are a few scenes that are so badass that they arrival the original's daring stunts. Is this better than Die Hard 1? No way. But is it better than 2 and 3? While it is much better than Part 2, I still love Part 3. However, I did find one thing I liked more about this than Part 3. I enjoyed it way more. The entertainment level is on high and constant throughout. You barely get time to breathe and even Justin Long's character is constantly asking for a second to catch his breath. But he's never granted it. Poor bastard. While Die Hard with a Vengeance is a superb sequel, I just think this is a better film. I can see myself watching the first Die Hard and then this one more than Parts 3 and a lot more than Parts 2. However, I cannot give it a higher rating just because it is more entertaining than Parts 3. I will say that the social commentary in this movie is on a much grander scale than just racism like in Parts 3. I mean... Race was never used as a plot device to have Samuel L. Jackson and Bruce Willis bicker with each other. And it sort of moved the plot along. Here the cyber-terrorism affects everyone in the vicinity. And if it got worse, which it could have quickly, the rest of the world would be sent back to the Stone Age. So I'd say that the villain may not be as memorable in this movie, but the threat can be considered the greatest John McLean has ever had to deal with. And with that balanced reasoning, I feel comfortable giving this movie an equal rating to Die Hard with a Vengeance. Overall, I give Live Free or Die Hard a 4 out of 5.
Lion Brain got a host of sprockets and bloodshed movie reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and leave comments and subscribe.